hi beautiful souls welcome back to my channel wherever you are in the world today welcome 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 first time viewers my name is Kathy I'm an intuitive holistic health coach wellness mentor and spiritual guide and mixing it up this week beautiful souls um, coming back in with my heart messages uh, there's just been some crazy energies floating around you know there's been peaks and troughs and dips and curves and all kinds of things in this last week I truly feel like it's been a little bit of a roller coaster you know coming into 2024 the energies have been quite displaced and high one minute and low the next I know many of you um, have been feeling it as well you've been reaching out to me via Instagram via emails via text messages via you know um, private messages etc on some of my platforms and beautiful souls you are not alone it's been a hectic start to 2024 and you know it's been a mix of this energy of you know full moon ending the year last year we we're in the middle of mercury retrograde that just seemed to go on and on and on some of you may still be experiencing some tech issues communication issues around you that should really start to level out it's gone direct but you know there's always that post shadow phase that can still play around you know in little areas of your life so just don't allow the frustrations to set in you know, we've also been going through these massive planetary upgrades, you know, cellular upgrades, ascension upgrades. Um, you know, we've had other planets that have also been, you know, coming out of uh, retrograde as well. A lot of them are now direct, but again, most of that will really start to move forward towards the end of this month where we should really start to see some traction and beautiful souls so as I was led back they just said look park the crystal messages to the side for the moment we need to get people back into their heart space um, deliver some of these other messages for now first ones are out beautiful souls and again we've been talking about this so for one or some of you out there here we go opportunity beckons opportunity beckons and the first thing obviously that I saw was all of the planetary arrangements right so we've got a crescent moon here we're looking at the stars he's got his back to you know I'm going to say well it's a it's a sphere but I'm going to say it's the world and the first thing that I saw on that beautiful souls was the infinity symbol number eight right I'm sure you can see it there this year beautiful souls for many of you there is going to be maybe multiple opportunities but at least one big opportunity beautiful souls that is going to change the trajectory of your life it is going to be something that you won't see because he's got his back turned right you probably will not see it coming because God loves surprises, beautiful souls. You know, we like to plan everything and try and work everything out in our heads and how's it going to happen and who's going to bring it in and where's it going to come from and what is the timing. Beautiful souls, as I said before, they are the first signifiers on this card that I straight away, you know, my guides were straight in there. And the number four, they're just saying, so four is about stability right so this is going to bring stability into your life can also be in the next four days four weeks possibly even over the next four months or within the next four months I mean for some of us that would take it through until May May right so again we're all in different cycles as well beautiful souls so again not every message will be for you right now but it may be very relevant in the future so take those numbers and everything as well um, as they resonate and the clarify beautiful souls again I cannot make this up teaching came out with the crystal messages as well many of you and I feel strongly tied to this big opportunity are going to be placed in teaching roles of some description an elevated position where they're just saying right now the book of knowledge your life experiences your work experiences your career experiences of your spiritual experience 
whatever that is beautiful souls for some of you it's going to be a culmination a pool of literally all of your experiences um and you know this divine feminine and obviously fellas well, obviously we've got a masculine and a feminine here too by the way so it's just saying to me so this could be you know people coming together a masculine and a feminine and it doesn't have to be a relationship, beautiful souls. This could be work colleagues. This could be destiny helpers coming in to gift you and give you this, you know, big opportunity. Maybe you will come together with someone and together the two of you will create something absolutely unbelievable, right? Um, worldwide, they're just saying right now. So again, beautiful souls, let's get into these messages. But you know, a lot of us have been waiting for these breakthroughs. They will come at the divine set time, beautiful souls. Opportunity beckons, key words, boredom, disillusion, vigilance and action. So some of us, he's got his head down, right? So some of us in this last period, because it has been such a weird start to 2024 and you've got all of the other, you know, weather phenomenon popping off, some of it's geoengineered, some of it not, some of it from solar flares and flashes and everything else, beautiful souls, maybe you've had your head down, maybe some of these burdens have been coming through, you know, you've been worrying about other things, beautiful souls, because this big opportunity, they're saying, is literally right behind you, okay? And we don't want you to miss it. We don't want you to miss it. Often, in affairs of the heart, you may become complacent or even bored with what you have. Gratitude unlocks blessings, beautiful souls. You forget to see the magic of your interactions with others and fail to invest time and effort to maintain the human loving link. I've said before, many of us have been solo and you can have partners and still feel solo, beautiful soul or so souls or solitude or lonely, right? But for many of you out there, you have been solo for a long time and maybe that again this is why the head is down beautiful souls you're wondering where is this beautiful other counterpart right that is going to make me feel like my life is complete remember you are already complete beautiful souls you are children of the most high right these partnerships if that's what it is you are coming in to complement each other not to fix each other not to fulfill your life you know you, there will be an outpouring of emotion yes of course and all of those things but you are already complete on your own if you've been oh my goodness if you've been looking for a relationship for some time without success you may become disillusioned or discouraged no longer believing that a relationship will manifest your enthusiasm diminishes and you no longer provide the universe with the energy that is needed to produce the relationship the same is true of struggling too long to an improve an existing one. And this can be work as well, beautiful souls. As I said, it doesn't have to be husbands, wives, partners, you know, singles, whatever. Take it as it resonates. Now is not the time for complacency. This is your opportunity to attain what you've been seeking. <laughs> or to improve what you have. It requires vigilance, action, and enthusiasm. Lift your spirits and look for the opportunity that will present itself and then act. And I also feel, as I said, beautiful souls, this is an opportunity coming in. For those of you with you know careers, you've been working diligently, you're entrepreneurs, you've been working on your own projects and products and everything else in the background. A lot of you, like myself, beautiful souls, have been solitary. You've been on your own, working away. They're just saying in the dark. Some of you may stay up late at night and work on these things, you know, pouring your time and energy into certain projects, you know, but you've lost that interaction with others beautiful souls 
destiny helpers are also coming in. And as I said, the infinity symbol on this, what I am going to say is almost like the globe, the world, beautiful souls, is right behind you. This opportunity in whatever form that takes, for some of you, it is going to be a divine counterpart. But destiny helpers in some way, shape or form are coming in to offer you an, an amazing opportunity. And again, beautiful souls, teaching Oh my goodness, this card just keeps coming up, this message, right? Some of you are teachers. All of this knowledge you are going to synthesize. Book, I've spoken about this before. You are going to be writing your book. You're going to be writing your courses, putting things together, beautiful souls, for other people so that, you know, humanity can benefit. You're going to be in service to others. That is what it's all about, Key words, shepherd, right? You're looking after other people, beautiful souls. God, source, the angels have put you in charge or they're about to put you in charge of a group of people, right? You are going to be their mentor, their teacher, their guide, their advisor on some in some capacity, advising, learning, wisdom, Many of you are wise old souls, reflection and beliefs. Although the name of this card is teach, it brings the dual energies of both teaching and learning because we're always going between the two beautiful souls. I'm learning things every single day, learning things about myself, learning things that I'm interested in, trying to work things out. We should always be in a state of learning, beautiful souls. You have much wisdom to offer regarding your wisdom, your knowledge and affairs of the heart. So there you go with these couples potentially coming together. This wisdom has been gained through all of your joys and sorrows. Remember, God says nothing, nothing, beautiful souls, will be wasted all of the tears he bottles up and puts in a jar. And those tears, beautiful souls, will be raining down upon you. But tears of joy, they will become your blessings in this new season. And I'm getting goosebumps as I say this. It's been a while. At this time, <laughs> there may be an opportunity to assist someone. That person may even be you. When the opportunity arises, oh my goodness, remember the shepherd, the one who gently guides his sheep along the desired path. Use that same gentleness in guiding yourself and others. And I'm sure that that came out in one of those crystal messages, beautiful souls. We don't want to be told what to do. We're all adults. I mean, we're all children, you know, God's children, but we're all adults here. We don't want to be told. We don't want to have that strict controlling type of energy. We want to be gently led, inspired, motivated, encouraged, given hope, right? And this is how you are going to teach and lead others in that energy, there may also be an opportunity to learn right now. So some of you may, they're just saying, literally have your heads in the books right now, learning something, going through a course, starting a course, learning how to do something, up-leveling yourselves in some way, shape or form. This could take place in many ways through conversations, observations or even reflection. Take a moment to reflect on what you have already learned and what you still want or need to understand. Then seek a teacher who will help you to arrive at that understanding, right? So you could be this person to a lot of other people, beautiful souls, or someone is coming in, right? That is in divine alignment with what you need at this time, relationship on some level, destiny helper, business partner, whatever that is for you, beautiful souls. Um, the downside of the teach card is when our teachers want us to blindly follow their direction. Well, let me tell you, beautiful souls, in this new era, 
right? So many of us, you know, the consciousness level of the planet has risen. No more do we want that type of energy, right? That controlling taskmaster, they're just saying. In relationships, this often leads to restrictions and disappointments. These teachers can come in many forms, family, friends, society, and so on. If a relationship in any form is not going smoothly, maybe it's time to examine the beliefs that you hold about relationships. Now, again, beautiful souls might be hard to swallow for some, but maybe this is why you've been solo for so long. Are you so entrenched in your ways? And that doesn't mean that your ways are bad, beautiful souls. I'm just saying that is there room for flexibility, right? Or are you, it's my way or the highway, it's black or white. Because beautiful souls, to blend, right? Relationships are all about teaching and learning from each other in every aspect, are they truly your beliefs or have you unintentionally accepted the beliefs of others, beliefs that no longer serve you? Maybe some of you saw split families, divorces, you know, you grew up with solo single parents, like solo parenting, whatever that is, or you, you've seen relationships in dynamics around you that are always in fighting mode, making up mode and fighting again and splitting up or whatever it is, just dysfunctional. And you've gone, I don't want a bar of that. I'd rather be on my own. That's their journey, beautiful souls. It's not yours, right? So for those of you who are longing to find their beautiful divine counterpart, I've said it in so many videos, they sprinkle it in here and there. There is a set time for you to meet or come together either with your divine counterpart, business associate, destiny helper, there is a masculine and a feminine in this picture. The feminine is facing forward. The masculine has his back to the world, to this opportunity at this time. Take these messages as they resonate, beautiful souls. There's a couple of different storylines in these messages today. But again, beautiful souls, you don't have to do everything on your own. You don't have to be on your own. Yes, we have our guides and angels and everything else. We have always have God with us but physically on your own. A lot of you are going to finish 2024 in relationships. You will be meeting someone significant that has been handpicked and hand-chosen just for you. Affirmation, beautiful souls. In matters of the heart, I offer what I know, learn what I don't know, and remain true to myself. That is the key, beautiful souls. A lot of people get lost in relationships. They lose themselves. They lose their identity, their independence, and all kinds of things. This is going to be a very balanced relationship. As I said, could be business, could be a personal, whatever situation it is, beautiful souls, there's definitely, for a group of you, an opportunity coming in, a, a big opportunity. It's got the number eight planted on it, beautiful soul. So it is abundance, right? Four, four days, four weeks, four months, right? Divine feminine, teaching, wisdom, putting into these leadership roles, beautiful souls, advising others on some capacity and or, as I said, your divine counterpart coming in finally. Beautiful souls, hit me up in the comments and let me know, does this resonate? What's going on? If you love that message, hit the little thumbs up button below, beautiful soul. Send it out. The YouTube algorithm at the moment, it needs to know, yes, I love this message. Send it to more people. First time viewers, if you feel divinely led, hit the little notifications bell. Subscribe to my channel. All of my links are in the description box, beautiful souls, and or pinned in the comments for ways to get a hold of me, etc. Go have the most amazing day, beautiful souls. Opportunities coming in in some way, shape, or form. Hit me up. Let me know. For now, I'm sending you all so much love, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.